Hi you guys, my name is Denise Walsh and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be interviewing the new book by Rachel M. Stewart called Unqualified Success. And I don't do a ton of these on my channel, although I love reading, I love learning, and I know that personal development is 80% of the game. Let's be real, 20% is skill. 80% is keeping your head in the game. And reading, personal development, audiobooks, all of those kinds of things can be tools that you intentionally use to keep yourself motivated and focused. And so when Rachel reached out to me and said, will you read my book and do a review? I thought, yes, because I'm always looking for new inspiration to keep myself fueled up and moving. And so unqualified success did exactly that. Let me tell you a bit about what it's all about. So first, Rachel, she, um, her story is that she was out of the workforce for about five years raising her three kiddos and then got an opportunity to join a company as maybe, what is it, a financial person, like assistant, you know, for a restoration company and she said yes. Now she said yes with no knowledge of how this works she had never done it before, but she figured she could learn. And so she said, yes, she felt unqualified from the beginning. And throughout this whole book, she addresses the fear that probably stops most of us before we even get started. And that is imposter syndrome, feeling unqualified, feeling like, will they figure out I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> And to be honest, I felt this way myself. Not only did I feel unqualified in business or unqualified in sales because I'd never done anything like this before, but even when I got to the top of my company, I felt like I still don't really know what I'm doing. Am I really an expert? Do I really know? What if they figure out I'm a fraud? And so I feel like that's just such a normal part of the journey that in the first few chapters of Unqualified Success, she normalizes it. She says, dude, it's okay if you don't feel like you know what you're doing. That means you're learning something. Because the opposite of that is being super bored right? If we're not learning, we're dying. If we're not growing, we're shrinking. And so we've got to step out into these spaces where we don't know everything at all so we can learn and grow in those areas. So I really loved the normalization of imposter syndrome, the normalization of always a feeling like not quite uh, an expert yet because I think that's super normal. Not only does she have her own stories, but she also has a plethora of other people's stories, including those at the top of their game, those who are at the top of their industries, wondering if they really know what they're doing and still feeling unqualified. So again, normalizing that feeling is really helpful because so often we wait until we've got it figured out to take the step. And that's not at all what she recommends in this book. She says, take the step and figure it out every step of the way. So let me share with you a few of my favorite parts. So you'll see, I'll go to the intro here. Um, you'll see it's, it's mindset, belief, vision, grit, persistence, vulnerability, uh, hungry for growth, creating a ripple effect and impacting more than just your life. And so there's there's 13 chapters here that all build on each other that take you on a journey. And the first few all about mindset, um, you know, you're like, yes, 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 yes. Everything that she says are things that I've experienced. And, and she puts it in a little bit of a twist that makes you say, because there's so many stories, that makes you um, really put yourself in those shoes. So um, I'm gonna share with you one thing I loved was, oh yeah, this was good. Um, the little exercises. So as you guys know, I love doing it now, you know? I don't wanna just be a talking head, I wanna take you on a journey myself. And so at the end of the chapters, you can see, boop, there are different pictures and you can see I, I wrote in the book, I did the exercises throughout. And in this one, 
It says, starting with a blank slate, imagine the future you want. What does success look like for you? And not just personal success, relational success, but also business success. You know, what does that really look like for you? And, um, and picturing yourself on business calls and getting yeses and hanging out at leadership retreats full of people who are passionate just like you are. And I started really getting detailed myself on what it is, certainly I want my family to look like, but also what I want my business to look like and how can I be thriving in all areas at the same time. And then this section on grit was really special to me. It says, it turns out that you have, if you have the desire to grow and evolve and are not acting on it, you're already in discomfort. And why do I love that? Because most of the times we stay where we are because it's comfortable. But the question to ask yourself is, is it really? Is it really comfortable or am I stewing? Am I restless? Am I feeling like I'm called to do more and I'm not doing it? And that in itself is discomfort. You live with a constant nagging feeling, a dissatisfaction with your life, a persistent unhappiness from not meeting your potential. You are perpetually carrying the discomfort of wasted days and self-contempt. And then what she goes on to say is that our brain often desires to keep us there because it's at least comfortable in a sense. It's like, not comfortable because you know you want more, but at least you know the paperwork here. And so she goes on to explain how our brain keeps us in this safe place, yet we know we're called for more and how do we reconcile the two. So there's a lot of really cool ideas, a lot of really cool stories, and then exercises that take you on a journey as well. Um, so you guys, you know, I think that this whole message is one we all need to hear and taking a step even if you don't really know what you are doing um, is probably the only way to get started and so Rachel takes us through how to take that action in the midst of, of feeling unqualified knowing that we all probably feel unqualified anyway so thank you Rachel for having the courage to step out and share your story to step out and be seen uh, by the world and to share your experiences of taking steps even in the midst of uncertainty and discomfort because at the end of the day, if we're not growing, we're dying and we all wanna be in the season of growth. So I really think that um, unqualified success will give you the skills that you want and desire to get yourself out of that spinning, spinning and like go for it, right? Go for it. So I'm gonna leave all the links to her social and to this book down below. So thank you, Rachel, for reaching out to me and for sending me this copy. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it and I can't wait to get to know you better because we absolutely speak the same language. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. And if you haven't yet, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you're notified every time I release a video and check out my two free resources my podcast called dreamcast and then my action planner which you need if you haven't gotten it yet will help you tell your time where to go so have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next one